did it get to a point, I know we talked last summer, even before the VHSL kind of said we were going to move it from the winter, from the fall to the winter. Did it get a point for, for you that there was a little bit of frustration, disappointment, maybe even a point where you thought there would be no season at all? I can tell you at times, especially in the yeah, fall, when we kept getting shut back down, we would do workouts and then get shut down, do workouts, get shut down. Um, this past winter when the spikes have you know, really risen, in January, I was very nervous about, you know, having a football season. Um, and at the end of the day, you know, we want to do what's best for our kids. We want to do what's best for, you know, their safety. And then there's the mental aspects of, you know, of it too, the, you know, a kid's mental aspect of being out there and being around their friends and having a season is good for them. Um, so, you know, that's what we've been pushing. And we're going to do it again as safely as possible. We're going to mask up. We're going to stay six feet apart when, when um, you know, available. And then, um, you know, like I said, just try to get to February 26th and start playing some games. How were you able to have your agents for your players, especially when we talk in other states we're going to play in the fall, college football decided to play in the fall, but here in the area, you know, you had to wait till at least February. You know, it was heartbreaking to see, you know, some of my players leave and go out of state and, and you know, go play football this, this past fall. And, and, you know, those kids are, are great kids. Uh, you know, I wish they would have stayed, but at the same time, I understood why they did it. You know, they wanted to go play football. And then, you know, seeing the other states playing football and doing it successfully and, you know, having very minimal as far as outbreaks, you know, gave me hope that we were going to be able to get it done this spring. And to see college football just wrap up, see the NFL wrapping up this weekend, you know, I do have a, a lot better perspective now that we are going to get through this. It's going to have some bumps in the road, but at the end of the day, you know, we're going to get those hopefully six games in. And who knows, maybe make the playoffs. What is the outlook for Thomas Dale's 2021 spring season? You know, I think our outlook is we're very young. The past two years, we've graduated 32 seniors and 33 seniors. Um, and this year's senior class that's coming back is, is, is small, but they're, they're talented. Um, and they're talented on the leadership side and on the athletic side. You know, Seamus uh, Jones and Greg Mitchell today did their signing. And you've got guys like D'Angelo Gray, who's going to be signing here in a few weeks. And, you know, the list kind of goes on from there with, with our senior class. But, you know, you got to look at the younger guys that are coming up that played big roles for us last year. Um, you know, the, the Tyler Linebergers and so forth that, you know, 315-pound offensive linemen. They don't come around every day. And, you know, Jaden Baskerville coming back, another 300-pound offensive lineman. And those guys, you know, are going to lead the trenches for guys like Jordan Branch, you know, a returner that was close to 1,000 yards rushing last year. And, um, again, just excited about the youth coming in and really excited about the leaders that I have coming back in my senior class because they've really stuck with us and they've, you know, they've, they've done it the right way. And I'm proud of them for sticking it out and uh, hopefully leading us to another playoff season.